a skeleton on his last life, it's a good theme for the day. But using only bones and the like of his kind, does he have the determination to stay? Well, the rules for this run are simple. 1. All Divine Beasts in the finale must be completed. 2. Only bones and spike tier weapons can be used. 3. The Skeletal Radiant set is what will be worn. It must be brought to its max level. 4. No champion abilities, but mandatory stuff is okay. And most importantly, 5. This run will be permadeath. If we die, it's game over. The entire run must be restarted. I'm personally a big fan of this set. We can blend in with our skeletal friends fully with a level 2 set bonus, and even gain extra damage with their lended bone arms. But will this meager selection of weapons be enough to take on all the boss fights ahead, including gaining all the necessary resources to max out our bones? We're gonna need a lot, but hopefully we live to see another day. I hope you all enjoy the run. I'm not the type of person that likes to work off heavy restrictions like that, but as long as we make this first stream good, I think we're a-okay, so. Hey, Rose. There's some archers over there. And those guys have... They have... Well, the bows that we need. Spiked Boko bows. Okay. Here. Shoot it again. Just barely not far enough, though. The one obligatory death that had to happen. Ideally, very soon we'll be in not one-shot territory. Okay, come on, skip, skip, skip. Nice. <laughs> okay, there is one safe bow to get on the plateau. This wall segment's secret. It's a nice little chest. Bomb arrows. And then peppers. We can have just enough to make it through the cold. And then just uh, little stamina dishes too. Okay, well I don't really want to travel at the night because there is skeletons. And until that we're the master of the skeletons, we would like to not encounter the skeletons. Okay, that hill is dangerous right there. We can take the side route that's safer. One that gives us a nice, dangerous weapon. Bomb arrows. That guy can one-shot me. It's like he it's like he knows. Can we raise it before I? Uh oh! Uh-uh. He's behind. Okay. Oh no, so am I. Ah! Woo! We good! Nice! Well, all right, really quick, uh, before we get the Spirit Orb reward. Because usually there's not a lot of good stuff. Oh, hi. Okay, be careful of those still, though. There's probably going to be more, and there's an archer up there. Yep. I don't want to know what he has for weapons, so we're just going to go very fast. Awesome. Hidden cave. Fire arrows. Normal arrows. And last but not least, a safe spike Bokobo. Our first one. Can actually use uh, self-defense tactics. There we go. Highly statue. Usually stamina is the easy decision, but for this, I gotta go with as much life as possible. Like, I can't risk anything, even if it makes me a sluggy skeleton. Still not enough to ward off like most one shots though. Okay, well plateau's done. The armor we need is in the Gerudo area, but it's not realistic to get it because we need a lot of money to buy it, and also. Luminous stone materials for the trading cost. Best region to get all that stuff, that's probably pretty close, is uh, Farron, just over there. And who's that? Bacoblin? Whoop! <laughs> get our horsey, yeah! Woo! It's a pink horse, a pink spotted horse. Okay, knock knock, we're coming through. <laughs> and night traveling isn't too good, but on a horse, it's not really that bad. Skeleton. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Um, <laughs> be careful. Blow them up. You know, while we're here, though, uh, take some Bacoblin arms. We're investing ourselves in the skeleton nature. No. Okay. Ah, uh, hand dragon. Okay. Ah! I think we're fine. Oh, my back scratcher's back. Yeah. <laughs> Just constantly scratching away. We cut through the field like this. Uh, shouldn't encounter any bacoblins or moblins. Okay. Come at me. I dare you to. Okay. We just have to ward them off. And that was a good ward. Aha! Campfire. Okay. Let's end night travel, please. 
Also, what's good about these paths leading to uh, this area? Little secret stashes. Boom. Oh, nice! A sapphire in there. Cool. It's like it knows we need the money, so. I'd like to get this horsey registered. You know, it has white on it. White means bones, so. Bokoblins? Well, this one shouldn't be too bad. Hit him into the water. Twice. Headshot. And... Finisher. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Double Bulko kill. Good job, horsey. And look at that. With that, we can take spike weapons. The Boko club and a Boko shield. Oh, and the Boko guts will be good too. Because we need that to upgrade the armor to level one. Three Boko guts per piece. Nine in total. And another bow. Oh, shock arrows. That's good for disarming. So let's just sell some of these gems. Actually, it's a pretty decent start. So we have enough to just afford one piece, which <laughs> that's not enough. The jungle will be beneficial. Luminous stones and even some weapons. If this is the Sans run, Sans only has one proper partner here. Papai, Papyrus, yes. <laughs> For many reasons, because has white spots on him and he looks like a papaya. <laughs> yeah, Papyrus mode. Brother team, Sans eventually, Papyrus. Let's do it. I take a little seat, go to morning. Hey, look, I'm a horse, Sans. <laughs> Very good. Oh, there's more. Whoop. And to you too. In the water. That does it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can get the loot. Oh, water. Don't work against me. I mean, the undead really doesn't favor water. I see that. Because, yeah, the jungle is over this hill. And we can make the climb if we're careful enough. There we go. Secret stash. Don't need the mushrooms, but... In here... Sapphires. There we go. Money. Luminous stone. Okay, that's our first one. <laughs> Another sapphire. One luminous stone down. 137 more to go. We really need that many. <laughs> okay, this is the hardest part of the climb. Trying to, like, wall off the train so you can't just get to the jungle from here. I mean, you can if you have enough resolve to do so. One leap of faith, and then at the end, extra stamina. <laughs> Boom. Whoop. Yep. Just to be safe. Eat that, and we're good. I'm glad we cooked those up. And look, ore deposits. And <laughs> we're very high up. Where's that going? Oh, in the corner. Nice, Topaz. It's only 10.50 a.m. though, so we still have like another like safe eight to nine minutes to make it out of here. Hmm, interesting cave with a lot of stones in it. Those bats will be an issue, though. Yep. Two and three. Oh, yeah. Woo! Some good trees up here. Durians. These are free hearty foods, which allow us to tank heads, pretty much. All we gotta do is get this cooked up, and uh, we should not be a one-shot anymore. Any more bats? I don't think so. Just a lot of uh, riches that I can't seem to get. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Make it up before any bats come after us. Is there any enemies down here? <laughs> don't get shocked by lightning now. Or sniped. I literally can't see anything. Screw bananas. I just need to live. Come on. Successful. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was really good. Does this take us right in? Oh, I think it does. <laughs> okay. Yes, we made it. We are safe. It is raining though, so let's give it a moment. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Just the moment. Quickly make us some uh, anti-death stuff. One, two. Throw two durians in a pot. And eight temporary hearts. Okay, on top of four. Eat it right away. Boom, that should avoid the one shot. <laughs> and just like that, the fire goes out too. Well, we did it. Oh, and bananas. Okay. Yeah, bananas are an important one to get here. It'll be pretty weak without it. But we do want to get the tower because there's good materials alongside there. Nice. With our Lizalfos. And bats. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> eating wouldn't have got me out of that one. It was just dangerous. Come 
look! Why do I keep pausing? I'm just too scared. I'm eating regardless. <laughs> Literally just, I have timid skeleton energy right now. Okay. Whew. Perfect dodge, you're right, it was perfect. Get away, okay. We do have durians here, so more stuff to cook up. Aha, <laughs> just a little cave with them. Throw it in, give me all. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We now have enough to buy two armor pieces. And the rest of them, uh, well, there's just a lot ascending north. Oh, that one dropped an extra. But on average, it's still gonna be about one per stone. Love to see it. Diamond! Wait, two diamonds? Whoa! Gem rain! It just knows we needed it. That's almost enough for the set and all the level one upgrades. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a bit easier to farm in the night, specifically due to their shine. <laughs> but we're close to skeleton mode. Oh, is that a spiked weapon? Oh. I will be taking that. Spike Boko Bat, there it is. Traveling on night has its perks. <laughs> this is probably a good source of these weapons. Our final one. Two, okay, <laughs> final two. Nice. Between all that, we got 37 Luminous Stones. We're only 11 away from actually being able to buy the set and then getting it all the way to level two, which gets us a set bonus. But we are jumping the gun. How about we actually just, uh, you know, make it to Gerudo first and get us that armor, because I think we deserve it now. No more dallying on that. Wait, I wonder if the guys here have uh, the bone weapons we need. It looks like they do. Well, this feels like a good opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, is that a free club? It is a free club. And that's a free bow. Thank you. I'll be taking it. And arrows, cool. All right, <laughs> well that's all we gotta do really. Half time you don't even need a plan with finding these weapons cause they're really just everywhere. Oh, those guys have spikes too. But also those guys are way more dangerous than anything we've faced. That is not worth uh, a potential club. Blast it so we can blast it. Ooh, <laughs> we caught it. Nice. In order to get the armor sets to level two, we need to get two fairy fountains. That's how we unlock higher tier upgrades. At the desert though, we are so close to our skeleton armor. Before we get that though, we do need to buy the vice set to make it inside. How can we add on top of our 850 rupees? Three sapphires should help. <laughs> oh yeah, almost double right off the bat. Two rubies. Those extra ambers in there gets us to 3,000, which is enough for the armor and the vice set. We can sell those two diamonds we got. 4,500. Okay. That'll be enough for that and uh, some future stuff like fairy fountains. Before we buy it though, let's cook up stuff because we don't have anything cooked up. We have 24 hardy durians. Yeah, if we do two per dish, uh, I feel like eight temporary hearts on top of four normal. Once we have the armor on top of that, we shouldn't be a one-shot to like pretty much anything. 600, let's go. Well, okay, um, in Gerudo Town, this could only mean one thing. We've been waiting too long for this. How can we call ourselves a proper skeleton without being a skeleton? And there it is, just on the wall. Return to me. Come here, armor. There we go, just three stones and 800 rupees a piece. That's one, other pieces of course, two, and three. One, two, all the armor pieces, there we go. We are now skeleton and we can do this. Become one with the bone. But in order to make it better, we do need to upgrade it to at least level two. We need two fairy fountains, we need more luminous stones, just by a little bit, and uh, we need some bokoblin and moblin guts too. So that's all gonna be priorities. Oh, skeletons aren't allowed. Who said skeletons were vows? How can you tell? The glow is what makes it, honestly. Aha. <laughs> yeah, seal would have been awesome. Sadly, skeletons don't have brains to think these things through. Yeah, with his defense. Oh, hi. Oh, he's got a good bow. 
Okay. <laughs> Get him all the way. Get him out. Oh, not the shock keys. <laughs> oh. And away we go. Surf down. <laughs> ah. More. They're not giving up yet. Almost got me. That was a close one. All that stuff. Flint. Ah. There's a chance of just getting flint, which sucks. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> What's with these chances right now? Sapphire. Oh, okay, bad. So let's do it good. Very good. <laughs> nice. And Yiga time. Woo! <laughs> Through the fire and flames. Break the banana. There we go. It's truly the best way. Okay. Banana room. Yes. Then, of course, the banana of gems. Topaz. Oh, we got it. As long as we're past the gate, we're good. I think a blue vocal is harder than this guy. You're definitely right. After all, he is a red bokoblin, as you can see. The color. Come here, you red bokoblin. Bonk. Bonk the bokoblin. Well, now it only makes the most sense to at least visit the fairy fountain. Start upgrading this thing. As soon as we get it all to level 2, then we can take on the Divine Beast. Hi, fairies. Sadly, no fairies in a permadeath run. Let's enhance our skeletalness. Just 100 rupees? It'll be easy for this first one. Well, for this, um, looks like we have the Luminous Stone requirements, and it's going to need guts for the first upgrade. But we can at least start with just one. Two more armor points will suffice, though. So. For now. I think this time we need our buddy back. Papyrus? Hey, brother. I'm a skeleton now. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he's, he's bobbing his head. <laughs> he's like, he's grooving, yeah. Sands of Papyrus. We're at it now. Campfires would be pretty cool. If they were on. No cold spaghetti. We need warm. Or, just sleep at the end. Sleep until... The night. <laughs> we gotta be night crawling now. The hand is just scratching at the air. <laughs> just dust them off. Oh! That was a good one. Oh. But basic bows. But I'm doing it more so for this loot. Well, oh! <laughs> Fine, be that way. Because do I have a puzzle for you? <laughs> Riddle me this. You get bopped once, and then shot twice in the head. Does that make you dead? It does. And Bacoblin Guts. That's what we need. I think these guys have like a 60% chance of dropping a gut. Yep. <laughs> now onto the blues. And now the black one. Nice spin around. Boop. And again. Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> and the rain comes pouring. I'm really loving this glow, though. <laughs> Bone-tastic. Oh, the bat cave. Okay. <laughs> Two stones. B better luck. Oh, kick him, horsey. You got this, Papyrus. I believe in you. Oh, not me! Don't kick me! <laughs> Brother, why do you do? <laughs> That's a lot of bats. Okay, they're all after me. It's time to go Megalovania on these fools. Okay, Megalovania over. Whoop! Oh, that's a bow guy. Hi, friends. <laughs> Get those free arms. Should be pretty awesome. We have 33 now. This cleverly placed rock. I mean, clever for us. So thank you. Whoop. Eating the food? Hey, as long as you're distracted. Don't worry, I'm a big food fan too, man. I totally get how that feels. Next, he is cold spaghetti. Goodbye. And the guts. I think that's our final one. Yes, we have six. I'm covering it. I promise you're six. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all we need. And the last. Looking good. We'll need the next fairy in order to get the level two stuff though. But 15 armor points. So I feel a bit safer taking on tougher things like the moblins we have to kill for the level two stuff. We can do that easily alongside just the plateau. Oh, hello, Moblin. 
They're just chilling in the open. I mean, you do you. Meanwhile, I'll be me. Oh, okay. You're free and open to do that. It's your free will. It's mine to kill you. Almost. Consider it done. But our first guts, one of nine. Oh, they're walking away. Free will's trying to guide him to safety. But that crumb on the ground is not. Batter up. What? No stealth strike. Just the kick. Ba -ba -ba. These big, dumb ancillaries to Ganon. Oh, and... Now I'm feeling kind of dumb now. <laughs> Every part's been a gut, though, which is good. You know what? I would like to kill some enemies that uh, give us the weapons we need, though. Got a lot of variety options. Uh, I'm not sure the soul. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are good weapons. Yeah, those are really good weapons. I'll be taking both. So thank you. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> That's not okay. Do the safe thing and run. <laughs> Get out of there. It's unlike me to play so safe. Permadeath does bring off the fear. Indeed. <laughs> we are so close. <laughs> we are so really close. Those guys can help us out. And final. <laughs> a little bit of a wind up there. Okay. Stalor's killing for our last one. So now with our nine guts, I would say we can go to this fairy fountain, but since it's level two stuff, we need another fairy unlocked. Hello fairies, <laughs> scaring you off. 500 rupees for the second one? We can do this. Now yeah, every piece is eight stones and three guts. We're one stone short. Well, five to eight. Five to eight again, let's get on the mask. And yeah, we can't do the final one because we're short one Luminous Stone. I thought I had it. I really did. Well, one Luminous Stone, where can we get that? Is it a cave? Are they in a cave, by chance? Oh! I see now. It's a secret stash! Wait! Screw the Luminous Stones, this is an awesome discovery, what? Bomb arrows, okay. I swear, 2,000 hours into this game, you still find things. Yeah, that is so cool. Just... There. But most importantly... It's all here. Level 2 everything, set bonus, disguise, and bone attack up. There it is. And with that, well, let's go kill us. A Blight Ganon. It is indeed Naboris time. Naboris. <laughs> Cook up a couple of things though. Three of those together, and a thistle. Just for our combat stuff. We have our bomb arrows, all sorts of arrows. Good bows, still some shields, and definitely good weapons. Sell the alarm, a thunderblight is going down. We're getting close. All right, here comes the shock. So for safe measures, we are gonna quickly, you know, just eat this plus 15, all the temporaries we can get. Okay, come on, stay safe. Just, just stay in. Stay safe this first one. That was not safe, but we are okay. <gasps> Riju just kicked me out. Okay. We did prepare. Keep going. Uh, stay in. That just moved, so... Come up for that. Swing around the side. Nice. Which one's moving next? You are, of course. Just like that. Get them both. Swivel back to me. Yes. One. Oh no, that was a miss. And then no caution here. Full speed ahead. Go for it, Bone Link. We got it. And the Bone Bash. We did it. We have 24 armor points, so against these guys, it won't be an awful thing. Oop. There we go. Make it perfectly in the hole. Nice. I think ultimately we shouldn't die from one hit of Thunderblight. But part of me is just like, am I sure? Second to last one, we're almost there. Oh. Wait, is it going up? Is it going up? Is it going up? Ha! -ah! Yes! Okay. 
We made our ride. Not worth it. Let him do his thing. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> well, we are almost here. Go through the pit. Okay. There is two guardians down there. I feel like now is a good time to get prepared with everything combat. So we can do this, the terminal, and then Ganon. Even just that, screw it. As a skeleton. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Oh, break him down. Yes. Huge damage. <laughs> just awakened him. Shockwave did numbers. And bye. Okay. Wow. Okay. I love to see that. It's Thunderblight time though. Just going to swap to a fresh one just in case. Same applies to this. Okay. <laughs> Running around. Okay. Well, it's time. Activate the terminal. Skeleton mode fully. Well, Thunderblight, I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna make this over with faster than you can imagine. Come at me. Not with the shock. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. Okay. See what we can do here. That that, that isn't terrible. Okay. Oh, the shock! So close. Nice, okay. <laughs> it's good, but not amazingly good. Again. Nice! Oh no. Ooh, good! Okay, it's a close one still. Can four finish him in half? Three, four. Nice, okay. Part one done. He's not that fatal. He gets way worse. We gotta quickly get him out of the mid-phase, though. He's right there. Yes! Instantly! Oh, perfect. Oh, get a free arrow hit. Never mind. Ooh, he's all the way over there. Nice! Okay, wait. Spike club him down. We have to do it. One, two, three. That's it? Come on, Blight. Come on. The laser. Not the laser. Bring it. Yes! Break the shield. Go straight for the eye. Nice! We did it! Oh, wow. <gasps> that shield parry was intense. Okay. Thunderblight down right away. We just went for a speedy killing. The undead doesn't mess around. We've experienced pain before. And now, we bring it on to you. Pretty satisfied after Thunderblight, but there is still, well, a lot to do. Of course, we got the Divine Beast, but... We definitely need a lot more stones to upgrade this armor itself. I pinned the locations of a lot of these stones just to, you know, act as a guide before we head up Rudania. Um, what if we do that? Oh. I thought there was a dry spot. There was a dry spot. <laughs> Nighttime, okay. Thank you, Tree Shade. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh wait, since we have the level two set, he is now our minion. The nice thing about our minions is that they bring us free weapons. Here, free weapon for free bomb. There we go, fair trade. We're both happy now. This is actually pretty good. It's about on par with uh, this weapon in terms of overall damage and durability. There we go. The luminous deposits, just as we go. And the type of pen represents the quantity. So it's the same sort of system we used for the Lizelfos run when tracking quantities. And we also need money still for the fairy fountain. Final one's 10,000. Oh, money. Wait. That's a good bow. And wait, has a modifier. Attack up already. Oh, blood moon. What's better than a blood moon? Special rock. That has diamond under it. <laughs> oh, hi, Stalnox. Lord of the Bones? What's your quarrel with me? Do you quarrel? He's giving me an offering? That's no offering. Okay. <laughs> Bad. He quarrels. Get out of the way. No, not the tree. <laughs> nice little uh, hardy patch. We got durians. I'm going to say screw it and use a good mining weapon. <laughs> That's a good purpose for it. I say next though. Yeah, if we just get some of these nearby luminous stones and then charge the fairy fountain over here. Yeah, let's talk to you. Great fairy. Yeah, that's what we need, too. 500 rupees? Thank you. The good goods. These are good goods. 
Weak stamina. Big hearty radish. <laughs> That's the best. We will take papyrus indeed. Oh, hi. Free gems. Free money. Watch, we get a diamond. Salts are the diamonds of uh, the culinary rocks. We have to get a very high wind bomb to make this viable. Very viable, okay. <laughs> Those guys look deadly. This is a very nice sunset, though. Actually, it's pretty perfect, if I would say so. And <laughs> with the sunset means our time to shine. Yeah. At least one apiece. Better than one flint. I mean, hey, it's a bit dangerous though, but it's the type of danger I live for. Here, bats, how about you come out first? Hello, I am the remains of your fallen ancestors. Just coming to take back what's mine. Mine, mine. More mine? Okay. <laughs> it's all free. That's dragon bone, sadly. Oh, and this is a bad situation. <laughs> Dragon Bone meets us. Well, we got most of them. Goodbye, my love. Oh. <laughs> Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. <laughs> Our motto this run. Oh, big stone. Mining is so satisfying in this game. Two wing cleaver guys. Oh, and at least these guys are on my side. Jeez, though. <laughs> A whole party. Uh, no, you know, we're just going out. Don't snipe me. Eat crap, a cobbling. Fall off your horse. And luminous stones. Aha. All right. Third fairy fountain. Unlock the third tier of upgrades. Thousand rupees? Easily. It's not going to be nearly as bad as the final. We're very good in the luminous stone department, but we do need Maldugo guts. But since we're so close, we might as well just get them with what we have. At best, we can get everything we need in just two kills. At its worst, they'll probably be like three. Oh, hi, skeletons. You know, there's something I could use, though. Screw up a cobbling arm. We can have a much better Lizolfus arm. Like that. Nice. Uh-oh. Well, good thing we have this. Boomerang, come back. Yes. Oh, and it awakens you. It's like it was your calling. Aha, there you are. Do this again. Uh-oh. Get him, get him, get him! Nice! Well, there you are. Already distracted, I see. He's like a dog, just doing up going for tricks. Take it. Whoop. That's still minimal damage. Okay. Well, for up here, we're fine. Go for the bomb. It's your bait, Smolduga. Yes! There we go. Now I'll beat him down. Much better. There we go. He's gonna go mad mode. Okay. Still a lot to deal with. There we go. Big hits. Eat it. Nice. Belly up. Okay. <laughs> this has gotta be our chance. No questioning it. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Turn for Bolsa's Fury. Sorry, I didn't realize that it on. Nice. Okay. Just regen cancelers. Okay, no more regen. Oh, he's right at me. Scary dog. Good. Okay. Take it, take it, take it. He's going far away. What? He just retreated. What are you doing? Clown. Wait. Bomb time. One. Two. We got it. Okay. That was the finisher. But we did get four guts. Oh, that's really good. Greatly enhanced clothing. Well, we can do it. Okay. Okay, so close now. Okay, we definitely need more weapons for the next Mulduga fight. You know, we can honestly get more by the ancient tree stump. Really not bad with these guys. Just free takes. Sure thing. Go straight for it, come on. Free, whoa. <laughs> okay. I would like more bows though, and you know what? We gotta go to where this started. We'll get him safely this time. Him, him, and yeah, blow your horn. 
and then for you this should help oh maybe more so that that was a good help <laughs> let's get our free stuff fire arrows spike poke bow uh oh he's right on our tail you have to go a little bit faster oh well we just kind of skipped up didn't we Yeesh, okay go for it pick it up boom got him and belly to me yes okay or right there you know we just got to run for this one two three four five six seven uh oh bye bye stamina uh oh Woo! okay good oh my health Woo that was a not good moment at least we can take now with better armor which is exactly what i needed because you have to die get out <laughs> Three, four, five, six, and then run away. More up front. It's the best thing we can do. Eat bomb. Whoa. He's really hugging the platform here. Oh, not anymore. Unearth. Belly slap. Oh, that whip. He thought we were on him. That's good, though. Wax. Yes. Get them all. Come on, more volleys, please. Yes, and take him out. Okay, Moldugo down. Whew. There we go, three more guts. One more than needed. Wow, that was a fight. Because now, yes, eight to 12, have 36 armor points for the entire set. That'll take a lot of damage. It should be enough for taking on Fire Blight now. Lava Land. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for the spice. Oh, my weapons. Yeah, we're gonna have to unequip them pretty much the entire time. We can only have them out for just trace amount of times when we're attacking things. Do the bone weapons burn? No, actually. So we probably could have that out. Oh, ha, yeah. Hot spring stones? Hard to see in the day, but we know what you are. A very nice reward. The mines are just good in general. And also good for fireproof ingredients. We need a couple to mix with the butterflies we'll be buying. Eventually. Nice. Gem pockets. They may not be glowing, but there's still a certain shine to these stones specifically. So our goal right now is to get the warp point, and then we're just gonna quickly warp to the stables where we can buy uh, fireproof butterflies. This is a buyout one. And only because we're low, I'm just gonna take a stack of those arrows. It's a bit of rupees, but these go a long way. Just our three butterflies, a lizard, and, well, we do have that spare gut. 13 minutes, okay. Let's go do the mine. And then we'll come back past midnight and beetle will be restocked. Very good. Oh, almost right to it. Oh, and uh, <laughs> level two. Well, literally, almost perfect <laughs> these old bones don't mess around Boop. okay before we head back though uh let's quickly get this good just little colony of luminous stones by little i mean very big so oh it's 105 a.m uh we can warp back and get more butterflies more flies of the butter one two three mix that in with uh lizard and I don't know if we have any tier three parts, honestly. Are the elemental wings worth more? Ooh, that was a weaker one. <laughs> a little over 20 minutes to do the Ascent Up, Divine Beast, and the Blight. Because 10.45 left in this buff, 11.50 in there. The 12, closer to 23 minutes, actually. You know what, screw it, we're going for it. Speed run time. Oh, Luminous Stones. Yep, we're getting those. And then climbing up. <laughs> Just does to load on the time. I need these. There we go. Keep going up. <laughs> Both and the gem stuff. Cool. Drill shaft cave. <laughs> yeah, bust it open. Keep me safe, drill shaft. <laughs> That's the way we do things. The time left is it's about 20 minutes. So we just do that. Pop them in the lava. Hopefully. 
Not quite. Like that. Whip him in. For both. I think we're doing good. Yes, one in. Maybe with that. Should spin in. Yes, just like that. Back up. Back up. Oh no. Not like that. Wait, do the backup move again. Come on. That has to be it. Please. Please. Yes, we got him. Okay. Sorry, Drill Shaft. We had to do what we had to do, though. We got this. Stay under. Stay safe. No downtime. Okay. Very cool. There we go. Got him. Want to hit the button. Then go for the bomb. You know what's all on you. Boom. Okay. <laughs> to this final section. There we go. Get him off. And there's our time. Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> yes. 11.50. This is it. Got to finish with it. There we go. Just walk it to the end. Take on the Moblins. Clean sweep. Come on. Final cannon. Yes. Okay. Good. Go for it. So ready. There we go. Okay. Still 10 minutes left to do all this. We got to be quick. Torch on the right side. Then a torch on the left side. Got to remember that. There we go. Blind shots. Ooh. This with the skeleton set looks very awesome, at least. It's okay. Let's pick up that fire. Get a little closer. Just for a short one. That works. Ow. Okay. Total skeleton look. We are indeed bones now. But it still is our time to shine. <laughs> oh. He wants the spotlight, too. There we go. Oop. Dodge. <laughs> and an upper uh, terminal grab. Turn back for you. Ooh. <laughs> Fire time. Hit it. There we go. Please tell me this works. This will be awesome if it does. Nope. Not quite. There we go. Third terminal. Eight minutes left still. This one shouldn't be too bad, though, because we have a wooden weapon. And just toss it up. Nice. <laughs> that last terminal... We still have five minutes to kill him. But we do got to make sure to kill him. Without attack buff, it's still going to be pretty hard because he's got 1200 HP. But I believe in the skeleton power. It's the calcium we need. All right, fire blight. Bomb action it is. Just get him down for starters. And we'll go for a club spin. Still decent, but it is broken. And so are you. And so will you be soon, too. Okay. Some damage is good. Arrows for sure. There we go. Good shots. Then weaken them with bombs. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of weapons. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep the heat on. Big volleys. And the break. A couple more to stagnate. Okay. We still do have a bit of a weapons shortage. There we go. Keep cycling with it. These patterns are easy right now. This is a fresh club right here. We're saving this for the end. There we go. Come on. Be yes. Okay. Halfway. <laughs> We're in full glow in the dark mode now. This is when you know his days are numbered. Like that. Get him out. And then, of course, spin him out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fresh club. Please. Nice. Where are we going, though? What? All the way to the corner? Oh, crap. Yep, like that. Still got the headshot. Nice. It's easier to cycle through here. Sorry. Let's drain the spear a bit more. Because we can. Yes. And Boko hit. Sorry, shield. Yeah, we literally have to unequip our weapons constantly. Low arrows, though. Half we bought some earlier. Okay. More huge club. Spin. We're very close. Can get this. Fire Blight. No match. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the bone slam. Well, that was a huge glow up, even without our attack buff. 
It's funny, the natural element to counter all my weapons just couldn't do it. Well, here's the path to the final of the four fairy fountains. Only problem, 10,000 rupees. We still have to save up a bit. In order to max this out, it's going to be this, a bunch of luminous stones, and three Lionel Guts. One per part. So we'll get that as we go, but first priority is the beast. Bob Meadow, <laughs> right there. Okay, we're dipping. <laughs> bye bye. And one like that. And just right at the top. We have tons of these Endurum foods. So I might as well go for it. Spike Boko Spear. That's a crappy one, but still a weapon we can use. Spike Moblin Club, another. This is not a good area to be in. I don't see anything of too much use. Oh, Luminous Stones are. Nice. Give me goods. Ooh, very goods. I see a diamond. Nice. And then from here, we can easily get to Rito Village. It's a good vantage point. Ooh, that was a decent one. As long as I know what I'm getting myself into, I should be okay. And we have been. And just some damage stuff. This doesn't seem like a lot, but Windblight will only have 1600 HP, and we will be fighting him with an attack buff. What do we got? Oh, sorry, I'm scaring the shopkeeper. This is not very helpful. I, I literally can't buy anything. Skeletons aren't welcome here. Okay, there we go. We just gotta talk to him first. Ease him into the comfort. Look what I've got. 264 rupees. Let's just see what our gems get us. Sapphires, 1300 for that. 1470. 10, 1800. Oh, wow. Okay. 6700. We're like two thirds of the way there. Still, that's a manageable amount to get uh, within a decent amount of time. We almost have all the luminous stones we need. Uh, if we wind up getting extras, we can sell those too. We can use these on Wind Blight. I mean, too bad. Barely sets us back. Let's just go back to the village and do Meadow now. Just the boarding blight and doing the beast. But for the fight itself, we're going to switch to attack up. It'll slowly kill us with the cold, but it's worth it for the damage. One, and go for the final. There we go. Nice. <laughs> final one. You got remoted. We'll make our own fun. Oh, come on. <laughs> Extra wheel for the win. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Don't get hit. And just perfectly. <laughs> just stayed safe in there. Okay. <laughs> My skeletal friend. I wish I could fool you with this. Ow. Ooh, insta-kill. <laughs> Those guys have more health, too. <laughs> you shoot the eye. And then make it inside the crate, and we're safe. <laughs> it's a good resting point. And bone delivery. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Come on. Wait, no, what? No! No! Wait, what? <laughs> it nudged it through as it went down. It literally collapsed on it, but it had nowhere to go, so it just kind of sandwiched itself to the right. It was just that powerful. It's like, nope, you're going. <laughs> well, okay, we have a good amount of hearts. Not many bows at all though. And weapons are very low, but for this guy, 1600 health. We got him cleared. Gonna shoot? Okay. Oh, he fell. Oh no. <laughs> he did some damage there, but our bones are strong. Blight cannons aren't the heavy hitters anymore. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. Bye bye. One shot, two shot, and okay. <laughs> oh, moving. Okay. Is that the best he got? <laughs> there we go. One, two, and third to get him down. Nice. It's still pretty decent damage. For a weak, crappy club like this, I'll take it. Where's he going to? There it is. One, two, and just to stay safe. Hit him with some extra. Oh no! Our bow broke, we missed a shot. There it is. 
And third. Almost. Oh, so close. We stopping regen. He's stopping our hearts. Ooh, no. Just got to stay in the garden and let him come to us. Of course, he's got to let that regen. Aha. No. That was our last bow. And he's up there. Well, that's something we didn't plan for. Not at all. He's so, so up high. It's just luck. We lost the luck. There we go. One. Two. Three strikes are out. What? Three strikes are out. <laughs> okay. That's more favorable. Nice. Okay. Smash to the half. Okay, now my arrows are just regen stoppers. Stop it. Yes. He's going up higher now. I guess so are we. Jeez, what do you want, guy? Nice. Okay, we got it. That was dreadful. Okay. Get him, get him. Nice! Behind the pillar. <laughs> wow. Throw the arm on him. It broke. Club hits. Come on. Club him down. So good? Okay. Oh. Laser attack? I don't think so. Oh, we got him with the third. Nice. Come on, get it. Yes, okay. Stop the regen. <laughs> Come on. Oh, bow broke. Uh-oh. Come on. Get him. Nice. We stopped the regen. Okay. Oh, let's actually get some health in there. Get him. Yes, okay. Get him down. Oh, he's so close. But that's fine. More. Nice. And that got him down. Okay. Two more hits, please. Third one. Get a third one. Fourth. Yes. Okay. Oh, we had like nothing left. That was awesome. We did it. Still very underprepared though, but I thought we had the edge, but that regen set me back from what I was really expecting. We just barely squeezed by. That really did drain our weapons. Like, we have this club and no bows. So we need stuff to take on, well, the Lynels and even the Divine Beast over here. But good thing about this area is there's actually a lot of replenishments we can just get just by going there. We're low on bones, but we'll never feel alone if we have our partner. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there you are, Papyrus. Let us go. Sans, I'm still a horse, and I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. You're good, brother. <laughs> Sans dialogue ends. Riding underneath the lit moon. <laughs> we should find a lot of weapon replenishments, so. <laughs> oh, never mind. They grabbed the weapons. <laughs> They have very good ears. We shouldn't be that loud. Ow. Okay, there we go. Bust inside. Brute strength. Take the weapon. Okay. <laughs> this dude just must have cracked hearing. So it must have lived a long, healthy life without headphones and ear damage. Yep. Clearly this monster's living in a different age. I don't be taking that. Thank you. Well, it seems like all these guys have pretty viable stuff. Definitely. Almost. Well, we can take it. <laughs> Just one for the road. <laughs> More arrows. Oh, bike crate. <laughs> but that, though. Wait, come back, Boko. Oh, hi. Didn't know there's a whole camp, actually. Let's retreat. Quickly. Hi, Bacoblin. What are you going to do? Throw rocks? I'll do you one better. Throw arrows. Ooh. Okay. Be dumb, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's just a free weapon. Oh, come on. <laughs> they alerted him. They are on the same team. Oh, well. Let's get a fire weapon. Extra damage. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Night monster. I really wish I could, uh... Easy to attack for me. But in a sense, we can. You stick your arm. <laughs> then you're attacking for me. And we can give that attack right back to you. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, he really did lend me a hand. 
Here they are. Oh, they still have no weapons, though. Luckily, that can be fixed. Oh, I forgot. They are fast with them. <laughs> Woo. There we go. Take them. Two Boko Bats. Thank you. Just like that. Wow. We're doing good. And, and we got a durability club. Love seeing the modifiers. So I know he's dangerous. But hear me out. I have one more shock arrow. Use it well. Oh no, crap, I thought I was gonna get to archers. <laughs> Here. Let's go for a plan B. You know, I have a very good plan B. You wanna keep chucking them? Go for it, chuck them off the edge. And your friend too? Yeah, give them to me, yeah, sure. Do damage. Oh, you're so close. Here, you might need one more little, or I think he's got it himself. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go for it, Picoblin. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Skelemoblin. Really appreciate that. Okay. Now, where are my bows? What happened to their bows? Did, did, they, did their bows just disappear? They don't sink in water. I guess the water was hungry. Yeah? Water, come on. You couldn't have just been satisfied with the Picoblins? Had to eat their weapons too. <sighs> oh well. Maybe the chest is good. Well, luckily there's more of these guys. Ooh. We could use that. Come down from there. We can do a little weapon trade. I don't see any harm in that. In the hole! Yeah! It's battle royale time. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jump off a cobblin. No defenses. Uh oh. <laughs> his friends are his defense. I heard the horn. Okay. Get out of there, maybe. If you want to be that stupid, I mean, we could just let him. <laughs> bye bye. They set themselves up for failure. I wonder if he'll give me the bows this time. It looks like the bows dropped. <laughs> I think this water got a little overstuffed. Headroom for the Picoblins, not the bows. Well, with that, we still got four of the bows. We just need one more. The silver? Oh, we can do this. Never mind. <laughs> He's patrolling. There we go. Distract him a little. Nice big wallop. Nice. <laughs> Whoop. That's a good trade, though. We're not even in night mode. And slam down. Ooh, so close. So finish, come on. Bye. <laughs> okay, get that Moblin Club. Oh, Topaz. Yeah, I guess killing Silvers is good for loot too. <laughs> also Papyrus, what are you doing? He just chatting with the monster. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Puzzles, spaghetti. I hate to interrupt a good chat. So, let's move on. Boom. Rain stealth. Nice. Oh, wow, slide. Perfect, oh wait. Oh, <laughs> I prefer to get the finishing hit. And on that note, let's eat this, just in case. Still fine with this. And with that, we have 62 stones. It's actually two more than we need in total. So the rest we can just sell, so we can have enough money for the fountain. But with that, we pretty much have a full inventory of weapons now. So this should be plenty to take on Water Blight, and even the Lynels we got out for the set upgrade. Well, Christmas came early. Because after all, I am the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> that, that's a really good one. And look at that. Oh wait, you're only a blue Lynel. I was truly expecting a white one. But blue ones have a pretty good chance of dropping a gut. It's not guaranteed though. Should we still go for it? Let's hope for the best. Let's do it. Woo. Crack it on him and right on the back with the spike club. There we go. That's pretty good damage for starters. Jumpy mode. Nice. No regen, sorry. <laughs> No, no fire either. 
We can do this just draining bow durability. If we only attack him on the back, that drains no durability. Nice. Pretty easy so far. Ooh. Keeping it up. Keep going. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. Yeah. We're doing good on time, too. We can take this buff to another Lionel afterwards. And two back wax. One. Never mind. You kicked us off. You lucky one, Lionel. Get club. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. We did it. And a gut. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't even a guaranteed chance, but we got first of three guts. And ten shock arrows, too. Wait, we can get our shock arrows this way to uh, take on Ruta. Yeah, we should take out another Lionel that drops shock stuff. Oh, it is another blue. They didn't scale yet. But it still has a good chance of dropping a gut. No. Uh, eating that. Okay. You have to stop, sir. Whoop. Hoo -hoo. Line it up. Going with the top box. Nice. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> with the butt of the weapon. The light in my skeleton is uh, similar to his color. Green blue versus blue green. I'm gonna hope that's accurate because I'm partially colorblind. Nice. Oh, we burned through bows pretty fast, actually. We'll have to get a whole new wave of bows after this. Tech up's almost running out, though. Gotta act quick. <laughs> Come on. Get another volley with it. Yeah! <laughs> nice, perfectly. Two, three, four, five. Come on, finish him! <laughs> no. Not enough stamina, even. Uh-oh. Good enough. Bye-bye. Two more. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, second one down. And Lionel Guts, yes! And with 20 shock arrows. That's more than plenty now. We have leftovers in case we need to uh, shock more things to get free loot. But sadly, we don't have the attack up for the final Lionel over here, nor do we have a lot of bows left. And I don't want to end up in a Windblight situation. One, two, three. There we go. More dishes here. get a couple more bows. We'll go to our usual spot. And I think we... <laughs> I don't think a Blood Moon's happened since we killed them. That makes sense. Did I think of that? No. Do these guys have good loot? Even if you do, then that's just easy for me. Walk them in the water. Oh, that dodge. Slick. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and then Smackdown. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if only those guys would respond. Blood Moon. This is indeed the sky of a Blood Moon. Oh, that means we can get our stuff back, right? Let's make it very easy. Oh, so the position. Nice. Boop. And another for you? Sure. Okay. <laughs> three for three. Score. <laughs> and we get a full replenishment of bows. Now let's go in back for the Lionel. A Crusher versus Skeleton Crusher. Oh, whoa! He's going right away! Whoo! Okay. Wasting no time. Lionel takes charge. Oh, he really does. Okay. Nice! Okay. That's a close one. Easy to work around. Parry the Shockwave. We get more time. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Couldn't parry that. Whoop! Now. <laughs> okay, there's our damage coming in. Oh, unequipped our wood stuff. Can't not have that burn. Nice. Keep going. Nope. Oh, yes. Two, 
and zing up with that get one of those on him nice oh wait no stamina though <laughs> flicks us off Woo! come on he's so close do some two more volleys please very very close nice weapon parry straight up no more games only puzzles so we're gonna me this if you have like 50 health left and my bow does half of that how many shots one because <laughs> we have buffs and there we go 20 more shock arrows and our lionel guts that's all we need I'm pretty sure the chance of getting a Lionel Gut from a blue is like 60%. We got the high end of the stack for sure. More than enough shock arrows for Ruta. A full selection of weapons. But with that, we definitely have enough supplies to take on the final Divine Beast, Ruta. Let's go warp to the domain and let's end it. I still need more money, so our armor threshold is so high, nothing will really drain us in the beast. Three minute attack buff? Sure. Usually the undead doesn't fare well against water, but it is a stigma that we do want to change. And a spear? I have one of those too. And a hand? We have plenty of hands. See? Hi, how do you do? <laughs> Whoop! Oh, <laughs> he does rip through the armor a bit. Hi. Goodbye. That was amazing. Thanks, Mifa. Woo! I have a hand with this. Boop. <laughs> No, I'm handless. But you're a bit helpless right now. Get one headshot. Just uh, bait out that move. Yeah. <laughs> X out that regen. <laughs> We're just gonna toy with them. Give them little presents. <laughs> that works better. As long as we get one headshot. No? No headshot. Yeah, we can club rush. That's pretty nice. <laughs> and he's down from it already. Double beat on opportunity. And many swings. <gasps> ah. There we go. Bait out the throw. Never mind. Woo. Go another club volley. <laughs> Never mind. It has a mind of its own. This should be better. <laughs> no? We keep getting stuck for some reason. All right. Testing my patience. Whoo, right back. Taste the club. And then the spear. Again, again. Throw it. There we go. Bait that. Whoo. <laughs> Just an instant smack. Whoo. Come on. Materialize. Okay, that happens. Uh-oh. Ooh, wow. Okay. You know, let's go with a, a 20. What ice blocks, Mifa? There haven't been any ice blocks. Ooh, nice. The backwards flip. Land on the platform. Baits out the thing. Oh, instant whack. No time to react. Just instant parry and death. Wow. <laughs> Just a little test for you, Ganon. See how fast he went down? And you only have double the amount of health. Will you be formidable, Ganon? I don't know. Okay, well, we do need some money after this. Last thing before Ganon is we want to upgrade this set. We have 6,800 rupees. Um, how can we get 3,200 quickly? Well, for making money, there is good opportunities around here. Materials? 10 luminous stones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. For a diamond, which would usually be less, but we get a bonus diamond. There we go. 1,000 rupees. Diamond truly is unbreakable. All right, one step closer. We need the stones, but we will get more. 300 treasure behind the waterfall at the entrance to Zora's Domain? Really? Oh, we could do that. Wait, so behind this big waterfall? 
Wait, you can go behind this? Oh. Well, I did not expect this. Oh, a chest. Hey, yeah, that's 300. <laughs> so awesome. This is so cool. Oh, the Ika Clan hideout. The burnable banner with two gold rupees. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we could do that. Whoosh. Oh, right under here. More crazy diamond. Nice. Go this way. Nice. You know, yeah, there's a few things we've forgotten here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and two gold rupees. Whoop. And more arrows. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this will be the test. <laughs> Great fairy fountain. We're coming for it. Okay, 7,700. Let's sell these diamonds up. Three of them. 92. Okay, we have 67 luminous stones. We can sell seven. 490. Oh, we're so close. Less than 300. Oh, yeah. All these gems. Almost forgot. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be a clean sweep right down the row. And the ruby. Boom. Plenty. Okay, fairy fountain. We've returned with a handsome sum. 10,000 rupees. It is all yours, my friend. Uh. To the max. 12 to 20. We get 8 extra armor points per piece. We have just the right amount. We planned perfectly. Ooh. Last but not least. The max dealt skeleton. 60 armor points in total. Yep. <laughs> wow, level 4 everything. Okay. <laughs> we can take these guys again for sure. Critical hit. <laughs> oh no, it scaled the dragon bone though. Oh, that's so disappointing. Can't have that. Although that would be punishing. What sort of bow does he have? Oh yeah, that's spiked. Whoop. That could be instant death. Oh, hi, thank you. <laughs> take the bow. And <laughs> take none of his crap. Oh, that's stacked up. Did you see that? <laughs> the loot stack. There's gonna be a lot of those clubs, isn't there? I just want the shields. There we go. We have plenty of shock to do it. Give me. Nice. <laughs> and he gets fried. Ooh, a bat. There's a lot of stuff around here. Sure. Hi. <laughs> and another somewhere, right? There is a somewhere. Fall off. No, never mind. You know what? Yeah, falling off is good. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze. Let's get that stuff. Okay. Well, I'm going to get that club too. We'll, we'll swap it for uh, a few of them, actually. Same durability, more damage. I feel like the rest of our loot is uh, kind of right where we started. Oops. Okay, you did it to yourself. <laughs> Should have stopped the siren. Nice. Spike Boko Bow. That shield one of two. Oh, and an insta-kill. Punishing. Full weapons after this. Take them. Yeah. <laughs> Grab. Was it good? I don't think so. Nope. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Full weapons, full bows, and full shields. We're more than ready to go charge. And uh, have a bone to pick with Ganon. Let's do this. The moon ride into the castle as a skeleton. Or you call him two keys. Okay. <laughs> Take this charge all to Ganon. Oh, no. Okay. Bye. Guess it's just us, Papyrus and I. Okay. <laughs> the spider guardians. Yeah, we're going to be dancing with some spiders soon. <laughs> one big one. Ooh, almost shot his friend. After you. There we go. Get on through. We can make it. Take my own stealthy rod in. Yes, we are ready. And we're off. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I guess that works. Dodges the laser in its own way. No? I feel like the castle's just broken. I feel like the castle is just broken today. Okay. Maybe the disguise buff really works in its own way. Oh. We have one shot here. Make a count. We made a count. Woo! Nice. Okay. <laughs> that was our escape plan. Maybe we can cheese it, though. We can cheese it. Yes! Ooh, perfect. It's our last Stitch Chef Rider skeleton. With this, we'll earn our redemption. Just gotta climb that tower. Wait for the stamina to regen. Jump for it! And then quickly turn. Okay. I did this route once before and it's working well for us. <laughs> the orange sky lets us know we're close. We have eight minutes of attack buff. Should be good. Blast off! Yes! Right into the Sanctum. <laughs> a little too hard into the Sanctum. But we gotta go hard in this battle. Hard as bones here. And with everything, good amount of hearts. Good weapons. Even starting with the basics. And a good attack buff. We'll be solid. Let's do it. Ganon time. I'm excited. Whatever happens, we're going for it. No room for failure. Ever. This is my special blue attack, Ganon. <laughs> it was very blue. Big spider. Skeleton versus spider? Alright. Let's dance. Ready. Yes. Go, Flurry! <laughs> Weak one at best. Nice. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, okay, close. Come on, bring it. That one's breaking, though. Going with that. Nice. Gotta keep it rocking. One flurry after the next. We're staying nimble. Nice, okay. I can't dodge that. I can dodge that, though. Okay. Through his health bar. Let the combo finish him. Let's go for it. Oh, pretty nice, actually. We don't like this one too much. Oh, no. It didn't hit what we wanted it to. Not ideal. We're not used to the ice cubes. This is our first time seeing them. What were we supposed to do? Okay, big damage, 120, and slam, nice. Come on, break him to half. Yes, oh, so close though. This halfway isn't working, please. Work, okay. I thought we were closer than we were, but this is the real challenge. Potential regen hell. We need that shield. Keep going, big slams. Spike Club. Two. Okay. Nice. Jump again. Oh, broke it. Okay, we're lower now, but we have our best weapons. Okay? Just keep it up. Keep up the speed. And these amazing hits. He's gonna have region opportunity in a minute. Uh-oh. And cancelled! Go, go! Uh-oh. Ah, no! Uh-oh. No, that was our time. That was literally our time. Uh-oh, again. Nice! We got time back. But also, that regen was killer. Lower on weapons. Gonna go with the normal one. Just volley it. Oh, come on. If he's going on the wall, it's bad news. Okay. Nine spear rush. 
Oh no. Hit him through the window. Okay, good. We just can't miss. Got him. No, we were late. Oh, he's going on the wall again? No, you're kidding me. Oh, what? That region speed's insane. Yeah. Restart. <laughs> Come on. Almost past the sea here. Nice. Keep going. We have to. Oh, he's on the wall, though. Nope. Bad. Okay. There, we, we still got it. Let's get off that damn wall. Like that. Perfect. Okay, keep going. I know where your head is, Ganon. There it is. Arrow leads right to it. Okay, eat that second attack buff. Nice. Risky, though. And then three, four. Keep going. Keep going. Booming into him. Nice. Just don't go on that wall anymore. Oh, come on. What? Why does it keep canceling the flurry? That's fine. Headshot. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Not thinking to that, though. We had to. Nice! Now go with that. Two hits, jump attack. Oh, yes! Okay. Not on the wall, though. Damn it. Yes, okay, good. Very confident. Keep going. Two. One, charge! Okay, nice! He's so close. Don't retreat on that wall. And the, it just, Flurry doesn't work, okay. Wow. Getting majorly chipped. We got him, we got him. It worked. I don't know how, but it did. Okay, keep going. Big damage in the final. Oh, come on. <laughs> it hit us back, too. Why does the flurry not work? I don't understand. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. We got this. We have to. There is no other way. Beat him down, Ganon. Yes! Free hits. Okay. Not on that wall, though. It, it, it just... I don't know. <laughs> Keep going, this could be it. Come on, we're in hell. Die spider, final one. Yes, I knew it. That was it. Wow, I have no idea where half the stuff wasn't working. <laughs> the moves themselves were undead, I swear. Can't dance with me, spider. We won on our last life. That was a stressful time. That was a very stressful time though. And so the skeleton made it through on his last life. It took every bone in his body, but is now clear from the strife. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't had the chance already, please feel free to check out our other Halloween season run, involving Phantom Ganon and the much more powerful Dragonbone weapons. I'll have that linked in the description, along with our other challenge runs you're more than welcome to check out after this. But anyways, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!